Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bulleted list and bullet points in Illustrator. Now since Illustrator is a vector modifying program, it's not as intuitive as you might think. So we're going to create this style that we can apply to other documents. Now in the new document 500 by 500 pixels wide, we're going to press T to make a text box and make a text box about that big. And we're going to paste some text and here i just have some text that i took from wikipedia at the beginning of every line we're going to separate these into a bunch of bullet points like so all right now to create our bullet point it's rather simple you press and hold alt 0 1 4 9 if you're in windows or if you're in mac it's option or alt 8. additionally you can click on these points and go to the glyph toolbox right here and if you don't have that just go to window uh, text and you'll see the bullet point just below the Latin alphabet so we're gonna create a bullet point in front of each one of these sentences now we're gonna also tab in front of each one of these bullet points Oops. Let's tab that great now we're going to select our entire text and we're going to go to window type and tabs and we're going to control how much we tabbed it right here because it's quite far it's unnatural let's put it to maybe 15 right here this is the control if we click we see now this is 15 points or 15 pixels good now we can close this box we've controlled that and select all of our text and open our paragraph tool right here i think the command is uh, control shift t to open it as well and in this box right here, we're going to control the left indent. And right here, we're going to control the first line indent. So the left indent, we're going to put it as 15. And that's going to push all the lines 15 back. But we want these lines here to, uh, to correspond to one another. And so right here in our first line indent, we're going to make it minus 15. Like so. And you see it pulls back. Additionally, we're going to add a line before each paragraph or some spacing before each paragraph. Let's make it maybe three points like so. Good. So these points right here, this 1515, you would just make sure that corresponds to whatever tab width that you put. Now with this already created and we want to apply it to other documents, we need to save it as a paragraph style. So we select it all. We go to windows, type and go to paragraph styles. And we have this box pop here. And we're going to click on new style. We get this new style. We can double click on it and give it a name. So I'll just call it test three right now and press OK. And you see it pops up there. So now we can apply this to other other text. But in order to do that, I'm going to show you what happens. If we go to a new document right here, you see that it doesn't show up here anymore. So we need to save this paragraph style. And we do that by going to file save as and we just save the document with just this text by this so we're called test three save good now in the new document here i'll just make put that in there and just quickly add our sentences and the new document to load that style we click on this box in paragraph styles and we go to load paragraph styles and we open that Illustrator file that we had before press open Good and then to apply it. We would just press double click like that And as you see if I put in our bullet points all 0149 and a tab Our textile is formatted just like it was below and that's all there is to it. It's it's not as intuitive as you think but That's just how it is so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, hit like, check out our other videos, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put them in the comments below. And of course, as always, have a great day.